Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we're going to make uh, chopper teeth. And uh, I'll show you two methods of making soft chopper teeth. I hope it will be soft, but uh, yeah, they'll be soft chopper teeth. And uh, stay tuned, watch till the end to see how the chopper teeth turned out. Welcome back to this channel, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. In making of the chapati, there are so many ways uh, different people use in making the dough. I'll be using some oil, uh, cold water. Some people prefer warm water, but I'll be using cold water. Some salt. Flour being the main ingredient. Uh, we'll be using a wheat flour and some a little uh, bit of sugar. I sometimes don't use sugar. I prefer salt in chapatis and sugar in mandazis. But today I'll use sugar, a little bit of sugar. So I'll mix. I'll take two teaspoons uh, in the basin. Then I'll start adding the ingredients in. Add salt to the sugar, some amount of salt, not too much. Then I'll take my my oil and also add to the sugar and salt. Okay, my hands are clean, so I'll be trying to take off the remaining oil from that thing, the thing. So the oil and uh, salt and sugar in the basin. Then I'll add my water. I'll be using one cup of water to because I'm, I, I live alone, so the chapatis will be known if I use a lot of water. Uh, that will be my measurement. I'll, I'll stir the mixture to make it uh, the sugar and salt and oil to mix very well. Then I'll start putting in the flour. I'll continue mixing and adding flour until I get a uh, very soft dough, not too hard. Uh, if you want, uh, if you want soft chapatis, you have to make the dough softer. Even if you're using cold water or warm water, if you the dough is hard, the chapatis will come out dry like biscuits. But uh, if you use cold water and you the dough is softer, it will. It's the same, it will, uh, the chapatis will be soft. If you have watched up to this point and you are liking the video, kindly give it a thumbs up and you can comment down below on how you do with your chapatis. After I'm done doing my dough, I'll add some oil, then I'll leave the do to sit for some time because I have time I'll, I'll leave it to sit for like an hour then I'll come to start making the chapatis This is one hour later uh, I've come to start making my chapati. So uh, I have two methods of making the chapati. The first one is the one I'm starting with. You just uh, take a, um, some dough and you make it around like you're making chapati but when you roll it out you um, smear some oil on it 
then uh, you start rolling the ones the one chapati so you'll do it for every tiny ball so this this one takes time so it needs a lot of time if you have like 30 you'll be doing it the same way rolling it out smearing some oil then rolling it back again that this one takes a lot a lot of time but the next one is the one that uh, if you don't have time you can use and the chapatis will just come out with layers and very soft it doesn't matter so this is the second method that i use if you don't have to you can prefer uh, you can do this one i prefer this one because it's faster i'll take the remaining dough and roll it out on the table as i'm doing right now then in, on this bigger door in this round door i'll just smear some oil and then i'll be cutting uh, uh, like a straight line i'll be cutting it in, in stripes the way i'm doing i'm sorry it was not showing uh, because the camera was somehow not okay but uh, it's like that so enjoy the video till the end and if you like it kindly kindly give it a thumbs up and also you can subscribe to my channel and you can also comment down below on the topics i can touch on thank you thank you so much enjoy till the end